What's going on everybody? This video is going to be about the impact snap. Can you see that? I don't know if you can, there's not much light. There we go, impact snap. Impact snap. Impact snap. Alright? So I ordered this because I know um, some people that chronically flip that I sometimes I can't give them, I can't, I haven't started giving them golf lessons yet, and this is where I want them to start. So I, have the, I actually bought this for one of my students, and um, I'm going to use it and make videos with it until I see him, because uh, there's a, if he just got this, you know, it's like, how, how do I, how do I use this thing? <laughs> like, what, there's a ball, and there's a snappy thing, and what do I do? So uh, I'm going to give a quick little demo of why I got it and um, how to use it. Uh, I'm going to be using it a little bit because I want to I wanna make sure um, uh, you know, my release is up to par uh, or up to birdie. And um, yeah, here we go. So what you do, actually when I first got it, I had to look at one of Kelvin's training videos, Kelvin Meteor's training videos, because I, I put it in my hand like this and I thought, okay, when I'm coming through impact, I want to I want this to be here. I, I remember this ball had to be touching one part of your forearm. So yeah, that's kind of what I did, is I put it here, because I thought, you know, if you hit it back here, going through, that's a flip, right? You know, um, you know, it's not bowing. This one, this one starts to bow. Uh, you know, you're flipping. You're going into internal rotation with here, external here. So that's bad. So that's one way, I don't know, I'm gonna ask Kelvin, but I think that's a good way you can use it as well, is just to feel, is just to feel this, pressing against your left forearm because then you get a little flat left wrist and uh, yeah but then the real way to use it that he created it he created this in one go and he was so surprised he's like it just worked it just was perfect and uh, that's what he told me when we were in Hawaii he was just really happy and excited about that and uh, and then this I'll, I'll mention that later but you take the ball and you put it uh, actually, the goal is to get it in front of your in front of your wrist here, and I know that's too much of a bow technically, but you want to train something usually in the extreme in the exaggerated uh, just an, get an exaggeration so that you can um, feel it and build those patterns, build that memory in your body in your mind. So that when you go to do it, you can at least make some progress. Say if you do something at 10% and you want to do it at 100%, well, if you do it at over 100, if that's possible, 150, maybe you'll get to 80 and so on. You'll just keep going up and go towards your goal. So, so yeah, you want to get uh, ulnar deviation. Okay, so that's your wrist going down like that. This is uh, radial deviation. So you want to point your wrist down. Shot, you're, you're kind of shooting a shotgun, you know, it's like, it's like this. You want to get there through impact, all right? And then you want to get supination of your left forearm. So it's, it's, it's just turning uh, to the left. It's not here through impact, right? It's here, and that's this uh, turning in that direction. And then you want to get a bow. So on the deviation, bowing of your left wrist, that would be um, uh, flexion and then a supination of your left forearm, and then all the opposite moves with your right. So it would be um, uh, uh, left wrist flexion, I think, and then uh, what would it be? Um, pronation of my, of my right forearm, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, and what else we got? Uh, not radial, this would still be all in deviation. So that's really what you want to get to. You want to get this up and through, okay? Check this out. So there's impact. And I've seen people use it and they just go, that's great, you're, you're conditioning things, but the main part about changing a swing that I've found with myself and my students and everyone that's working on these changes <clears throat> is you've got to put both of them together. You've got to put the release and the body rotation together. And there, it's a chicken or the egg. What comes first? What influences what? It's a little bit of everything. You know, I've seen... Um, a guy like Victor, his body moves uh, at one point were great, but his release was just killer. And, uh, and then I've seen people with really good body moves, but their release, you know, it was good, but it wasn't quite as good as I thought it would be based on their body moves. So it's about putting it together. So I'm going to come down with a lot of leg, 
and, I'm, and I've got my body rotation, I'm holding off the release essentially, and then boom. And what I'm doing is just releasing with my body. That's kind of the feel that I've been getting. You get things set up and into position, and then you just let it rip. Right? So that's an exaggeration and it's quick and um, <clears throat> what I want to talk about now, because you've been hearing this thing, snap, is if you release it too early, you'll hear it too early. If you release it late, you'll hear it late and you want it to be late. A drive hold release is, is squaring the club face and holding it through, drive hold. You're driving a square, square face through, you know, with a lower rate of uh, closure and a lower rate of flip. So, those are the benefits of the impact snap. And if you use it intelligently, uh, you can really get away from a flip and, um, and, a, and a roll, which is great. Uh, so I'm going to go on the power plate now and just work on my body rotation and do a bit of this. And, uh, yeah, just work on my swing, because why not? There's a lot of room to go. And that's pretty much it. If you want one of these, I'll leave a uh, email in the description box about who you can email to get one. Because Calvin no longer distributes these, he uh, he does a lot of other stuff. He's got someone else doing it for him, and um, and yeah, power plate. This thing's this thing's amazing. I, I hit baseballs yesterday at a batting cage. I was pitching and throwing, and uh, worked out twice yesterday or something. So I'm pretty sore, so I'm just gonna work on my body on this. And if you want one of these, let me know as well. Um, this one I think is five grand or so. Uh, they have new ones, oh, just stop. They've got new ones that are bigger, they've got new ones that are smaller and they're cheaper. I think the cheapest one is maybe 1900. It might continue to get cheaper, but uh, the amount that it vibrates you, it just, uh, yeah, I, don't know. <laughs> I used to think it was kind of a big scheme, um, but it definitely helps, it makes you feel good, it massages the different uh, things in your body, and not even for golf for your lymphatic system and your circulation and um, it just stimulates a lot of different things. Uh, just getting lymph moving through your body is really healthy for detoxifying, cleansing. Um, you know, people who have uh, their legs get big or, or stuff gets big is because lymph's not moving. And lymph is the highway of, of I think, excreting uh, toxins and getting things moving. So moving, you know, moving will do it. Uh, this just does it a little faster and then um, yeah, it helps you uh, build and break down fascia, I'd say, a little faster than if you were to just do it another way. And then it's a massage. And what's better than a good massage? Tell me. Right? So, so yeah, that's it. Impact Snap, Power Plate. Clinic's coming up in Palm Springs. Lessons on the West Coast. Uh, LA, uh, Palm Springs, some different areas. So hit me up if you have any questions and um, if you want an Impact Snap or a Power Plate. Aloha. Peace out.